feel as though your hands on the pulse of science. Incredible talent and diversity of the medical science. allows species. research to be done at a level that's not possible anywhere Essentially, else. Essentially, this macro environment is the Florence of our time. I'm really proud of what the HMS community has accomplished over the past year in all of our areas of interest. Education, whether it be medical or scientific education, clinical and basic research in all the areas of biomedicine, collaborations across the Harvard community, the university, our affiliated hospitals, and across the globe in research and educational endeavors, and the social sciences as they relate to global health and healthcare policy. In all these areas, we've made tremendous strides, and I'm completely confident that Harvard Medical School will do even better in the coming year. Let's listen to what some other members of our community are thinking about uh, their accomplishments and their aspirations for the next year. What I'm looking forward to most in 2011 is the excitement of new discoveries and relating these discoveries to the development of therapies and cures for neurological disease. I think one of the things that excites me the most looking ahead is really um, the opportunities that lie ahead with the new Center for Primary Care um, at HMS. It's really a chance, again, for people to collaborate across institutions and to think together about how um, to include primary care in a really meaningful way. In 2011, I'm really looking forward to moving forward many of the projects that, that we've had ongoing here at the HMS Academy, particularly some of our work on classroom learning and trying to really work with the students so that they're more attuned to analytical reasoning and getting a, a little bit away from just content uh, education. In 2011, I look forward to continuing my mentorship of the Women of Color in Medicine and Dentistry, a student-run organization at HMS and HSDM. So what I'm looking forward to most in 2011 is with uh, looking back at the Catalyst Innocentive Program is to see what are the outcomes going to be from that initiative. The initial one was around type 1 diabetes, but what are the other things that people are also going to come up with? whether it be ideas on how to deal with cancer or Alzheimer's or other types of diseases. I think the thing that I'm most um, excited by is the opportunity to create a course for the end of medical school. So I, with a number of other people, created the introduction of the profession and now we're working at the other end to create something to help students, I think, prepare for internship and residency in a way that's going to help them, I hope, hang on to their idealism and compassion. Work in the lab has enabled us to identify a core pathway of aging that's also intimately linked to the pathogenesis of cancer. And so the lab is going to be very focused on trying to understand that link and to exploit that information in a way that can improve both age-related diseases such as Alzheimer's, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, as well as cancer. Recently I was lucky enough to be named a Rhodes Scholar, and so I'll be heading to Oxford in October. And my hope is to study global health science over there, and hopefully develop some links between the HMS community and the Oxford community so that I can take on a project here, continue it over there, and then once I'm done, come back here to the med school and keep working on the things that I'm most passionate about. In 2011, I joined my colleagues in looking forward to strengthening our partnerships to advance global health, excellence, and equity by integrating research, service, and training. First in 2011, I'll be welcoming a new baby, so I'll be taking advantage of um, Harvard's opportunities in work-life balance so that I can um, continue to be a productive scientist and um, a good mom. Um, and then I'm looking forward to continuing to develop my program um, using the affiliations available to me through Harvard um, towards developing an HIV vaccine to prevent mother-to-child transmission of HIV. I'm looking forward to a really exciting year of science in 2011. Within my field, which is cell biology, imaging, and biophysics, the last few years have focused a lot on technology development. And what I think this year is going to bring is taking advantage of that technology to answer really interesting biological questions. I'd like to thank the entire HMS community, faculty, students, and staff for everything you've done on behalf of Harvard Medical School in the past year. I'm always interested in hearing your thoughts and comments about what we're doing. What exactly is it that you're most looking forward to in 2011?